as new leaders, you know, have been pointing fingers, you know, at each other. You know, you made Rela lose. You did this. You know, if 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 it wasn't for you, you Rela would have been the president now. Now these are blame games we are seeing in Azimio. But today we want to discuss as in what do you think Rela should change or should do within this form for four years so that when it comes to twenty twenty seven he will defeat William Ruto. What do you think Rela should do right now? That, that, that's our discussion. Remember right now, um Jubilee members just confirmed that Rela Mordinger is the preferred candidate come twenty twenty seven. And this uh, you know a strong indicator that Rela Moldinger will be at the ballot come 2027. Folks, before you go on, um, let me take this time by saying hi to you. I believe in well, wherever you are. Now, if you love politics, then it's your channel. Take your time, subscribe there, so that we'll be meeting here every time we have these amazing political updates. Now, sit back, grab a cup of coffee as you listen to this. Um, you know, it's a fact that no one ever believed that Rela Moldinga was going to lose or would lose the president. No, not the seat. Um, people, I think people overrated Rela Moldinga. I'll, I'll put it that way. And people underrated William Samiruto. Yeah. Um, the deep state issue was a, was a strong issue. And the deep state, the, the deep state issue dominated the last, uh, the last election. You know, um, Ruto accused Uru Kenyatta of using the deep state to, of course, destroy him. Yeah. Ruto was using okay, not, actually was not using Ruto was blaming Uru Kenyatta of using uh, the deep state you know, or the government the state machinery to stop his bid okay of becoming the president of Kenya. And we saw the public alteration between Ruto and of course uh Uru Kenyatta. But no, this made this gave people confidence of especially people who are affiliated to Rela Moldinga, people who are affiliated to you know, ODM or Kenyakwa or Ozimio, people thought that Ruto could not make it. But of course, as fate would have it, Ruto managed to defeat Raila and Ruto Kenyatta. That, that's the reality. It doesn't matter the ways he used, used, okay? It doesn't matter the ways he used. The fact is that he defeated them and right now is the president. Now, what are the things that Ramonia should do within these four years? Huh? That of course, uh, you know, may, may, can make him defeat Ruto in 2027. One is that uh, Raila should form a strong team. Yeah, a very strong team. It's obvious that Madakarua added little energy <laughs> to Azimio. Yeah, it's the reality. Madakarua was overrated, if you ask me. She was overrated. She did not perform that much. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, people agree that Central Region gives Raila a good number of votes, it's a reality, of uh, 500k maybe but do you think Matakarua is the one brought the, who brought the, brought the votes no not Matakarua because even in Matakarua's own county Krenyaga Raila really failed in Krenyaga it's a reality Raila will perform well in you know in Kiambu and Moranga but Krenyaga he failed it showed that Matakarua did not add much votes to Raila Moldinga so Raila needs to do away with the Matakarua not do away in a bad way but he needs not to pick Madagascar as, as his running mate because Madagascar is not helping much. In fact, if Rala Mudinga would have picked Kalonzo Msioka, I believe Rala Mudinga would have performed better because Kamba Nation was divided. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's okay, Kamba voted for Rala Mudinga, but a good number of voters of, 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 <laughs> voted for Ruto. So it's a reality. No, um, Ki, you know, um, Kitui Ruto was number two, but a strong number two, not just number two, a strong number two. Yeah. Come like Matakos, Ruto was number two, but a strong number two. Do you see now? This he was number two. That was number one, but he was a strong number two. As opposed to no other elections. No, this shows that uh some Kamba people voted for Ruto because Kano Mushoka was not the was not the running mate of Rana Mordinga. Yeah. Beg your pardon. So the, that's what I'm saying. Rana is strong a, a strong team. Right now we're seeing a totally uh affiliated to Kenya Kwanza. I totally now want to join Kenya Kwanza, even though he has, not, he has not confirmed this, but all indicators shows that I totally is not with Rala Mordinga. No, they say if you can't beat them, join them. I think I totally is using this term. If you can beat them, join them. Right now is joining William Samiruto. Yeah. Now, Raila should not afford to lose at all. Yeah. Totally is a, a strong leader in Western. He should bring a to his camp. Yeah. 
Raila should not afford to lose Oparanya. Oparanya last month um, no, tweeted that he was going, he would, you know, um, terminate his friendship with Raila Odinga. Raila should not afford to lose Oparanya. So, because what if Atuli and Oparanya joins Ruto? Then Raila is done in Western. Yeah, Western people vote for Ruto. That's the reality. Yeah. So, I'm saying he should make sure that he has these people on his side. Come 27, because he needs Western region to defeat Ruto. Remember, a county like Bongoma voted for Ruto. Okay? And I think this that's what made Rela lose the presidency. If Gubongoma would have voted for Rela Moldinga, then Rela Moldinga right now would have been the president. So he needs not to ignore Western region. Yeah? And what, what should he do? He should just have these leaders on his side. Now, other things that Rela should do, you know, there's one thing that I like about Miguna Miguna. Miguna is someone who speaks his mind and he does not shy away <laughs> from saying the truth. Meguna once told Rela Moldinga that power is not given, power is taken. <laughs> yeah, it's taken. Don't sit back and say that, oh, okay, I have the president, I have Uru on my side. Now I'll be given the power. No, 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 no. You go for it. Ruto knew that. And Ruto did what he did to take the power. No, it doesn't matter the method used, whether it was voted for by Kenyans, whether he used whatever method. The fact is, he won the election. That's the, that's the bitter truth. So Rela should. No, not this, that he should not wait for someone to give him power or so, you know, someone somewhere to support him. He needs to do whatever he has to do to take that power. Yeah, you need to convince voters, you know, you need to have the agents, blah, blah, blah. You know, need to be aggressive. No, Ruto. Uh, Ruto is very aggressive. You no, know, in terms of popularity, Raila is more popular. Yes, that's the, that's the truth. Raila is more popular. But who um, 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 won the election is Ruto because Ruto is aggressive, yeah? He did not take anything into charge. He did not take any chances. If it's the issue of the agents, he made sure that the whole country, no, he made sure that his agents are spread over the country. If it's the issue for you know um, preparation, he did everything, yeah. And he was out there campaigning every day. Ruto was campaigning every day. But for Ella Mordinga, he was not campaigning every day because, according to him, he thought that no, this, this is my time. The president is on my side. No. You need to go for it. Yeah, you need to go for it. That's the, that's the bitter truth. So Raila Mordinga, if actually wants to, to you know, to take power, come twenty seven, needs to be aggressive and go for it. Another thing is that uh, right now Ruto is very keen on stopping Raila Mordinga's demonstrations, and he knows the power of demonstrations. If there's something that made Raila Mordinga uh, somehow defeat Uru twenty seventeen. Are the demonstrations he used to he used to have he used to hold? Um, 2017, it's highly believed that uh, the election, election was rigged, even though it was not, it was not confirmed. But the Supreme Court nullified Uru's victory. Why? Because it found out that there were some discrepancies in the election. So it shows that um, Naila was popular in 2017. Yeah, we remember the issue of Musando. Okay. The ABC, you know, who was uh, murdered, the other issues. These are some indicators that there was a problem in the system, yeah? Even though it was not confirmed that Musandu's death was linked, you know, to whatever happened in the election. But some Morella has been saying that Musandu's death was not in vain, was, you know, was planned by the state. That's according to Raila Moldinga, yeah? So, it shows that in the last election, Raila believed that he won or he would have won, okay? And uh, you know um, why did why was he popular? Remember, remember the NASA wave, because Raila used to protest against the government. Remember Raila protesting against the Aysan Asak. Raila, you know, protesting every day. You know, people, you know, the, the tear gas things, everything. Demonstrations are ways of weakening the government. Demonstrations are way of <laughs> weakening the president. So if Raila wants to, of course, become stronger, come twenty twenty seven. It needs to demonstrate, yeah, because you no know, by demonstrating, you know, you are making people, you know, on toes. People are like, okay, Rela Mordinga is there to fight for us, and this will give you mileage come the next election. So, folks, that, that's just my opinion, okay? If you have a, a different opinion, kindly comment there and tell me. I'll be glad to read your opinion. So, uh, as usual, if you like, if you like the video, take your time, subscribe, like, share, comment there, so that we're meeting here every time. We have this amazing updates. Now, um, I will say so. I can just say that I wish you, you know, 
um, good health, you know. I wish to find you in good health in the next video.